Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another video on AutoCAD 2015. Today, we are gonna focus on the status bar. The status bar is made up of all of these tools in the lower right-hand corner of the screen, and you should set the status bar up to work the way you like to work. So you wanna make sure that the tools that you use the most are easy for you to get to, and you wanna make sure that the tools you never use, get rid of them, they're just gonna be in your way. So how do you do that? In the lower right hand corner of the screen, you will see these three horizontal lines. They look a little bit like a hamburger, I've been told. <laughs> That's what I've also been told is what they call it internally. And you'll see there's a tool tip that says customization. Click on the hamburger and you will see all of the tools that you can put on the status bar. For example, maybe you were wondering where your coordinates went. No problem, you can just click on coordinates and they will easily display on the status bar. There they are right there. Now, as I go through the status bar the way it's set up by default in 2015, I wanna point out a very cool to tool for those of you who do isometrics that allow you to go from one isoplane to the next very easily. I love that. I think that's a pretty cool addition to the status bar. So if you do isometrics, you would keep that on there, right? If you find yourself drawing in that mode. But as I wander through here at the very end, I also notice that there is a tool for clean screen. I never use clean screen, do you? Do you even know what it does? You can get to clean screen with the control zero, but you can see that it would get rid of your, any of your palettes that you had on the screen, gets rid of the ribbon, it basically clears the screen of anything extra, which is great when you're working with clients to show them the actual design. I could see that. You can also get there with the control zero. So I would probably, let's put, our, let's put, put it back. I would probably click on the hamburger and I would probably turn off clean screen. Just something for you to think about. Go through that list, set it up to work the way that you work, and you're gonna have a great experience inside of AutoCAD 2015.